Hello everyone, what is cooking all you good looking people out there and welcome to another exciting episode of GeoGuessr. Here we are in yesterday's daily challenge location, something that is very tricky, very hard to tell. I have almost no idea, but there are two things that kind of... I don't even know if they actually um, if they actually stick out to me, but I'm gonna make a I'm gonna make a a, a guess um, based on them. Uh, this over here could be a Swedish flag. It very well could be. These aren't real palm trees, and uh, that's good to know. And that's you know we got some people over here hanging out. Sure, they could be Swedish. Uh, that's honestly, I don't know. That's that's what I'm gonna be going on for this challenge. So why don't we say we're in Sweden? And I mean, obviously, uh, the coolest uh, water parks in Sweden are definitely around Malmo. Uh, let's call this one our favorite water park in Lund. Make the guess. And oh wow, I got the right country. Well, look at that. That turns out that it paid off. We actually were in Sweden in um, a place called Skara Summerland. Summerland. Yes, I love Summerland near Skara. That's great. We were in Skara Summerland near Skara, which is near, I guess, kind of Gothenburg, but closer to Lidkoping. Um, you know, honestly... Skara does appear on the map uh, as one of the things. I guess it's closer to Trollhattan. Uh, but there you go. Skara, Skara, Summerland. That's where we were. Anything around here? Well, there you go. Beautiful. That was that was really awesome. I can't believe I got uh, the country even right in that one. So 2,634. So here we are in today's challenge location and it looks very cool indeed. Look at this place. My goodness. Well, it's pretty clear um, what country we're in. It's based on this thing right here, based on the cars and everything like that, you can see. And now the real challenge is trying to figure out where in that country you are. Now, you can probably Google this, but don't. That'd be cheating, and it would be a whole bunch of bull crap if you did. Don't, don't do it. Uh, but, you know, nothing's going to stop you from doing it uh, if you do. But, you know, there you go. Uh, what do we got? We got Lacey's Custom creations sure M magnolia insurance agency uh, magnolia blossom florist a men's store um blah 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 we can't really see anything um something chameleon jennifer's graham law firm we've got all of this stuff i'm guessing we're in a place called um magnolia steven store magnolia bake shop so we must be in a place called Magnolia, wherever we are in the world. But that doesn't really give us much of an indication. So I am going... So uh, there you go. If you guys aren't familiar with what these challenges are all about, what you need to do is write down in the, dis I mean, the comment section below where in the world you think we are, being as precise and descriptive as you can. And whoever gets the closest or guesses the closest or the exact right location first wins and i'll announce that in tomorrow's uh, comment section so make sure you get your guesses by the day the video comes out and if you are doing it later you can always comment with any other comment you choose or just not comment at all um, that is totally fine so it's up to you guys make sure you write down in the comment section below where you think this is and in the description sorry in the comment section of tomorrow's video i'll announce the winner so here we are in today's challenge. Well, no, we're not in it yet. We are going to be in it in a few moments. You guys can find the link to this challenge down below in the description. You guys can click on url.geoguessr.com slash 77iw for a three-minute timed challenge, which... Hmm, hmm, okay, we're going to do that again. Hopefully, I, pay, I put the right link in this time. So it's not IW. Don't do that one. IX, right? IX, that's what the one we are going to do. We're going to do IX instead. So IX, challenge accepted. Great. No timed? Oh my 
God, how many times am I going to need to do this? Three minutes on the clock. Create challenge. Jeez Louise. Okay, it's not going to be IX. 77JO. J0. J0. God, I hope to God I put the right one in. Time limited challenge accepted. Great. All right, nice. Now we've got it. Hopefully, I remember to put J0 in there, but there's a good chance that I put the wrong one. So we're going to figure that all out. Um, but... Voila, so let's go down the road and try and figure out where we are in this uh, cold, brutal world. Well, we've got some uh, pump jacks going. It looks like we are in North America somewhere, um, drilling for oil in just this field over here. That could be in one of several places. I don't know the specifics of where we could be, but we're going to try and figure out if we're in America or Canada. As, as I can see, we could be in both right now. Um, okay, I'm thinking more we're in America right now, not based on too much, but, uh, if I, if we were in, uh, Canada, I would expect we would be in Alberta, but that vehicle didn't appear to have any red tint to its license plate, and the Alberta license plates do have a red tint to them, so that's all I'm going to be guessing that on. Honestly, we could very well be in Alberta, or any other province, or... We could not be, and we could be in America. But, hey, I don't actually know any of that, so we're going to go down the road and try and figure out if we can spot anything. Real estate. Um, do we have anything over here? Mm, no, that doesn't that doesn't indicate a, a, a lick to me right there. We got some uh, black tarmac right over here. Let's go uh, down the road and see if we can maybe get a sign or something. I saw the sign and I opened up my eyes. I saw nothing. This vehicle over here is following us, but uh, we got nothing. Also, that thing had some sort of strange time portal on the back of it. If we go down this road and just see nothing, like seriously, I'm going to go back and look at this vehicle as it as it passes by. Um, that, that, that red tint doesn't count. It's not the right license plate. And honestly, I can't tell. Maybe there is a red tint. Maybe there is. Maybe I just didn't see it on the first vehicle, and now I'm blocking it out of everything. 725, I don't really know. Something, something concrete. Is there a red tint there? Maybe there is. Maybe we are in Alberta. Should I just guess we're in Alberta now that I, that I said we weren't? I mean, I'm, I'm almost wanting to do that right now. Does it really look like this? Sure, Alberta can look like this. Honestly, we haven't seen, we haven't seen any sort of anything. We haven't really seen much. Okay, back up this vehicle. You're gonna tell me where we are. That okay? We can't look at those license plates though. We have to look at the back ones. We get a guy or or a woman wearing a plaid shirt. Well, that doesn't really tell us anything. Anyone can do that anywhere in the world. So, I, oh, no, screw it. All right, we're going to go over here. Alberta, make the guess. And look at that. Was correct. I guess there was a slight red tint to those license plates. After all, 2,499 points. Very nice. Look at that. We were closer up here, but seriously, the fact that I got that right, based on the no clues, I'm, I'm quite happy with that. All right, awesome. Oh, fuck. Well, we're probably in the Australian outback here. Uh, we're going out back tonight. This is one of the most annoying places to be because we don't really see much and everything is very, very uh, blurry and not that not that much fun to be in. So we're going to go around. I mean, how many times have I done the fucking Outback Steakhouse joke? I just say we're going... I don't, I don't even know. It, <laughs> oh, God. I don't, I've never been to an Outback Steakhouse. In fact, I might have never seen one. I probably have seen one, but I've never been to one, that's for sure. So I I have like zero clue. Outback Steakhouse, never been to one. It's probably not very good. Uh, I'm I'm already kind of sick of being here in this location. I mean, it's so beautiful. Like look at this. First of all, look at the sky. The sky is probably very is very picturesque in this um, because it sort of has like muted tones. It it does look very nice, but it, it would look so much nicer if everything was more crisp or at least. I don't know, it was different, but the fact that everything is very blurry and we just don't get to enjoy, like, there is some beauty in this, the fact that just the, the soft blueness of the sky and the kind of darkness of the clouds, they seem like they're just sitting there, still picture, but we, I, I mean, we don't just don't get to enjoy the rest of the photograph, it's, it's a, uh, it's very sad, because I'm sure this place is very nice, I mean, I'm sure driving down, it's very uh, monotonous and bumpy and long and hot, there's probably bugs, and there's probably 
uh, all sorts of, I don't know, I don't know what else there could be, but, you know, it's probably not fun to drive down this forever, so we're gonna go there, uh, where are we gonna go, let's just go for Queensland, let's make it right over here, wow, that was pretty close, well, it was close when it was like this, pretty far when it's over here, 415 kilometers away, 2,511 points, that's not bad at all, okie dokie, well, I don't know if this is a clue over here, but it's uh, it's giving me a clue. Let's go with that. I'm thinking we are in... Uh, what does this say? Uh, Lives Farling Lending. I'm thinking we are in... Um, interesting. I was going to say, I think we are in Norway, but I feel like we might not be based on almost nothing. I feel like this is actually Swedish, but I don't know that. I, I thought this the this thing would indicate, I, I, I honest, I still think we are in Norway, to be honest. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep guessing that. We got some, uh, cyclists just hanging along. Uh, maybe we are, maybe we're not. Uh, Fjall's is grand. I keep thinking we might actually be in Sweden, but that flag right off the bat is throwing me off. I'm not gonna lie. How about, um, how about this over here? How about this? No, we can't really move anywhere. Hmm, interesting. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna switch my guess to Sweden uh, against uh, the best of um, my own advice to myself. I mean, I believe I saw I even saw a flag, but I don't know. I don't know how does how does Norwegian look? I think uh, it wasn't a flag. It was one of those banner flags. Something I never really uh, got any kind of. Uh, yeah, you see, this see, this sounds about a lot more right to me than than this. Yeah, this doesn't it doesn't look like this. And and what about if I go to Denmark? It should be very a very similar story. Yeah, it is a very similar story. But if I go uh to Sweden I can see you see this looks a lot more right to me. This looks a lot more um this looks a lot closer to what we're seeing right now. And if we go over here, oh we could be in Finland too, but honestly yeah, okay, so I guess Sweden or Finland. Um, I'm going to go, I'm going to go with Sweden based on the number of little houses we've got over here. I can't really cross this river, which is kind of annoying. I, I really wish I could, but it doesn't really seem like I can. Get 34 seconds on the clock. Um, let's go for somewhere really close to Sweden and Norway. That could be interesting if we were somewhere like that. Um, this, no. Sir, sir, so Sweden-Norway border. What do we got? Do we got any cities or anything like that? We got anything? No, it doesn't look like they share many cities. Well, that's really too bad. Um, eh, well, now I'm not seeing anything. Oh, crap. Let's go make middle of Sweden. Okay, got it right, Sweden. Got it way wrong. All the way up north. God, goodness gracious. We were in a place called uh, Galliver. Galliver. Very far, very far, I guess. I was trying to look for maybe a town on the border because I, I, that, that banner, that flag still... Uh, made me think that that was a flag of Norway. So, very confusing. But 2190, Sweden. Uh, the language just... Uh, now, at least, I don't get confused between Denmark... Uh, Danish slash Norwegian and uh, Sweden and Finnish. Swedish and Finnish are now in their own group. And Norway and Denmark are in their own group. So, I've kind of... I've kind of actually... I've uh, been able to, to sort of divide this area a little bit up for myself in my mind, which is great, because that helps a lot. Ooh, we're in Canada. You can see that because uh, we got what appears to be a Canadian flag down here. Okay, that's fun. Uh, we are in Canada. Specifically where? God knows. Um, we are... This? We are in... I don't know where this is. Think fries. Got some sort of cow... Um, Udel, hungry, hungry heifer, ice cream, God, okay, we've got, what, what else do we see over here, uh, beach toys, where, where, why are, where, where, what beach are we in, 519, I should know what that is, 519, there's an area code I should be familiar with, I think, um, 514 is one I'm more familiar with. 519 is one 
I am not really familiar with very much, but I think if I am correct that 519 is an area code in like uh, this area over here. So I would say we might be like in like Wasaga Beach or something like that. Not really, but you know something like that. This tell this is what this this tells this tells me. Doesn't really tell me much. Doesn't speak to me very much, <clears throat> honestly. But if I had to guess an area, it'd be that. Not much to go on, honestly. You never see anyone flying provincial flags. You never see anyone flying. Um, you never see anyone flying. Uh, state flags, I guess, in the states very much. Oh, we'll let's see. Uh, no, that's just one flag, and it's just a Canadian flag. Is it? Oh, hold on. Might have been right about Ontario. Looks like we could have a flag of Ontario, or it could be a flag of, uh, I believe, Manitoba has a very similar flag. Uh, yeah, I believe it could be a flag of Long Point Provincial Park. Okay. Um, so, is that? No, that's Bruce Peninsula. Okay, so... What a long, what would a long point be? Uh, I believe that's a flag of Ontario. So we're gonna keep going like that. I don't know if I'm ever gonna find it, but uh, something like uh, we got Lake Superior. No, no provincial keys. Never really gonna find it. Oh, how about over here, Sleeping Giants Cove? Nah, I don't think we're actually gonna find it. French River, Kilkenny. We could, the three, three mascaras, how about this, Georgian Bay Island Park, Tomb of the Giants, wow, that's pretty cool, cool names over here, what about this, Bruce Peninsula, Cabot Head, um, yeah, we're gonna make the guess right over here, make it, and, oh, okay, down over here near London, that's the secret over there, Big Creek, Long Point National Wildlife Area, Ah, uh, okay. Well, that was a flag of Ontario, so that brought us only 284 kilometers away. Ah, uh, I see. I, I I thought that the area code was somewhere around Toronto, is what I was going to say. It's, it's uh, one of those area codes, but I guess it's the down here area code, Hamilton. Uh, for some reason, I thought it would it would be like up 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 here, but I guess I was that was completely off base. Two thousand six hundred and fifty four. It's an area code I've heard before. Um, great, and finally, oh fuck. Okay, well, all right, we are we're in hell right now. Not really, but I mean, again, very picturesque sky on these pictures with blurry pictures. I mean, these pictures with blurry everything's. I think we're in America, honestly, but. Where in America, like, we are in the hellish deserts of of somewhere. We got little signs around, a little grass growing, not really seeing much. Everything is very sparse. I don't really want to spend too much time in this place, honestly. Uh, I feel like we could be, like, like, over here. Bonneville Salt Flats? No, we're not there. Uh, I could feel like we may be in, I don't know, Idaho or something like that. I don't actually know. This place, look at, just look how, look how desert-like this is. Oh, goodness. We got to, okay, well, just looking, oh, we're going under a cloud. Well, that's fun. Always like going under clouds. It's very, uh, refreshing. It's not really refreshing, but that's where I'm gonna guess. Oh, we got a, we got a truck. I don't really know what it was doing. Let's go, let's go give it a look. See if we can spot anything interesting about it. It's air conditioned back. Well, that's good. Being able to keep all that ice cream they're bringing uh, nice and uh, refreshed. And uh, honestly, we're just going to keep going down the road until we either find something or I die of boredom on this long, exhaustive road leading to uh, this cool formation. So why don't we call this... Let's call it... Let's call this... Uh, and let's call this an uh, an, uh, an Albuquerque. Uh, let's call it a Mexico Arizona uh, thing. Sure. Let's go. Let's say we're right on this road. Make the guess. And yeah, we were pretty close to that one actually. Arizona. It is uh, near Winslow uh, on Highway 87 to 143 kilometers away. 2,957. Very very cool indeed. Right state, that's awesome, and bringing me for a grand total of one thousand. I mean twelve thousand eight hundred and thirteen. So 
Uh, we got the right state or province in Australia. I always forget which one it is. Sweden, very far away, but did figure out that it was in Sweden. Um, we got the right province in Canada. Very nice. Different wrong part of Ontario, but that's okay. Right state in uh, America and right province again in the other Canadian one. So very, very cool. Lots of good guesses that I'm actually quite happy about. Uh, that is awesome. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode. And as always, I will see you guys next time. Oh, yeah. Cue the royalty free music. Three, two, one, go. Come on, everybody. Get on your feet. Stand up, look at the screen, and repeat. I'm gonna like, rate, comment, and subscribe. I love watching Aether vids all of the time. Thanks for dropping by and spending the time. Hope you've enjoyed, and let's get on with our lives. Oh, yeah. Thanks to Kevin McLeod for these awesome beats. Oh, yeah. Have a good one.